Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heye and I believe in dragons. Um, and I have to say something about not really the Dragon's Path, but it's my own philosophy that I wanted to share. And um, the government uh, or a religion or things like that, for centuries long they try to uh, keep human beings uh, dumb and that they are actually ignorant and things like that. And um, as, as a Christian myself, I was always ob uh, obliged to um, obey the laws of God without question. Without questioning, uh, because he works in a mysterious way. And um, yeah, of course, I was bowing down. I was so actually more afraid <laughs> than from this entity than I was uh, that I liked it. But um, I, I did so, because, yeah. My parents said it, and I actually was questioning the stuff, and so um, I was questioning like things like, um, wow, killing all the firstborn in Egypt and things like that, that is actually very evil, that is very bad, that is not a good loving God who does that. Um, and so I said, wow, from a lot of uh, time later, actually all of this is, is just making me stupider, I, I mean, uh, the Ark of Noah, of course it's impossible that you go with all of these animals times two in all of the world in, 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 a, in a, just a small boat. Even the, the air must have been so heavy if it rains for 40 days that everything is underwater. Then, then it rises, the, the, the water is rising and then the, the, the pressure in the air, all of these animals dead. <laughs> I mean, it's not logic. It's very easy actually to um it's actually very easy to uh to say that this is all not real of course um so yeah i changed and uh the thing is on the dragon's path it's just the opposite the opposite of what i've been teached of and been learned in uh from the government that i have to listen to it or maybe the religions that i have to listen to it i i the thing is on the dragon's path um how can I say, can I say it? Um, the apple of the uh, apple of the the Eden Garden, Eden uh, Garden that that was where Adam and Eve was, and then she bites from the apple, and so God was mad, and so I would say, my brothers and sisters, eat the apple, eat the apple, and gain knowledge, gain wisdom, know about everything. Is 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 it so much better? that you live like a robot um, following humans or gods without questioning their evil of course it's ha it's horrible that if you have no mind of your own but that is what they wanted that is what strikes me all the time that people are following something and without asking themselves question when as once i said i met lucifer and it was a very beautiful and wise dragon everyone says devil bad and they never met him they never met him and yet they had this oh no it's not allowed why not have you met him have you met him nope but yet it's evil <laughs> that is not how knowledge works that is not how wisdom works it's ah uh, so humans been uh, been actually kept stupid for so many years and sometimes i still see it how people just obey stuff from others the thing is on the dragon's path you are your own uh, boss you uh, you yourself the say what you have to do what you will do what you learn what you will learn and what you will love on the dragon's path your i i I bet that your parents weren't on the dragon's path, so you are not raised as to believe in dragons. But you are now believing in dragons and you can even feel them. You know why, my brothers and sisters? Because this is real. This is something that you feel. This is something that is inside of you that you were born with. And um, you have... you ate from the apple and now the wisdom is growing and now you actually ditched all of these people who say i am your boss of course i have a boss too but <laughs> that is for money uh, to work but not in my life to say what i can do what i can't do 
That is the thing uh, on these religions. They created the story of Adam and Eve to say, ah, they had to listen to God. Oh, why did she do that? What kind of a life do you have if you don't have a mind of your own? What kind of love and happiness and things like that can you experience if you are a robot with no mind of their own? Of course, it won't happen. The dragon's path is um, being free. The dragon itself, the dragon itself is a, a being of freedom, a spirit of freedom. Capture the dragon, keep them in a cage, and they prefer to die. Dragons are no slaves. Dragons are not kept away in some kind of a cage. That is not the dragon's path. The dragon's path is the opposite of what free religions say, or maybe the government say, what you have to do. This world gives freedom, gives opportunities, has a lot of sides to explore. And yet also that was said to be forbidden. Why? So that, so that people would not think for themselves, so that people would not discover. And now, even now, today, a lot of things are being kept secret from us so that we not, will not gain knowledge or maybe that we will overclass them in knowledge and wisdom. That is why religions are made. So to keep them in so small, to keep them very small. But the government is just doing the same thing. To keep everyone small. On the dragon's path, you are the highest. You are the one that is, is the only one that is important on the spiritual path. Your dragon moved heaven and earth to be with you, to, to cheat even death. They love you very, very much. And yet you are doing whatever you want. The dragon doesn't say laws that you have to do. The things that you do for the dragon comes naturally. It comes by itself because you love the dragon. That is how the dragon's path works. It does, that is why everyone has a different kind of a path on this, on this dragon's path. That we are not taking the same one, but that we are um, creating one. One that uh, your instincts are saying, now I have to go there. All forbidden, all the devil, they said. And yet, I don't actually care. I have heard so many times that people called my dragon a devil or a demon or a demonic that I just don't care anymore. People judge all the time. Humans do that. And um, I cannot help it, of course. It's how humans work. And they cannot even help it, of course. They are raised to be this, this stupid. They are raised to be this judgmental, even though they know nothing about it. Why would they say that this dragon, this brown dragon is evil, if they never met him? only heard stories of what they are raised with, what their parents said. Is it true? Did their parents meet him? Of course not. Did the priest, whoever says that Lucifer is a bad guy, did this priest ever saw him, met him, experienced him? Of course not. I had. And it was a very, very beautiful dragon and a very beautiful experience. And I didn't see anything bad in it. Think for yourself, my brothers and sisters, or just listen to your dragon. The dragon is not your consciousness. You are free to do whatever you want. If the dragon is speaking to you, then listen to them. And whatever you do afterwards on the dragon's path, it has to come from your instincts, from your feelings. Your feelings will guide you, my brothers and sisters, under the shadow of the dragon. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.